Hello YouTube, this is Jolly Green here, and I have some footage for you that I've been sitting on and decided to put it out because I haven't been able to film an outro for my Slam Box series. So this is going to be three different parks that I visited and that I had some footage for that I need to put out there. And so this was the Auburn Skate Park in Auburn, California. Uh, there is a, there's a lot of nice bowls. It's a big bowl. You can see there some people in the bowl there behind me while I am trying to do some front side nose slides, which I am pulling off a little bit. Um, this trip to Auburn was during the smoky part of after the fires in California and the air quality had been bad for a couple of weeks so we searched where the air quality was good in California the closest place which was Auburn California which was up into the foothills a little bit into the mountains and so we went there and I was able to skate I was a little too intimidated to mess around with the bowls because of all the locals there that were ripping so I just stuck to this little um, pad here and just doing some front side, back side, no slides. Now, I picked the camera up because while I was there, this is a, I think it's an Auburn State Park that has the skate park in it. I see a deer, so I walk over to get some film of the deer. It was just grazing. Uh, this is during the, um, this is during the fall and the vegetation is sort of dying out in California so obviously this little guy was looking for a little bit of food so I stopped my skating session to get a good shot of him and he runs right up the railing up to the railing up there and then starts walking over in the walkway so this deer obviously was used to seeing people and is not that intimidated by people because it came right up close at any rate now I'm starting to try to land a no comply double flip which I almost landed right there but this trick is super difficult as far as the timing goes almost got it right there too and I keep on touching it in that air. Uh, that that was unintentional but pretty cool actually if you could and, and there I had tried to I almost did it again if I could actually learn how to uh, bonk it into a shove it I know to fly into a shove it that would be pretty amazing and there you see I could have stepped on it but I didn't and so I've sort of become obsessed with landing this trick every time I go to a skate park uh, because it's just escaping me. But um, you see, there was another almost shove it. So if I could, there was almost a double flip. Difficult. Difficult to get it to just spin exactly right and catch it. And a big one. I want a big one. I could probably. If I slowed it down a little bit and tried to do it a little smaller, I would probably be able to land uh, the single flip, which I, I think I do in one of these parts. I think I do on this one and then have a little toe drag. Uh, not this particular try, but at this part I know I do land just a single flip. I'm going about halfway across this. And I'd say this is about 12 to 14 feet, so I'm almost, I'm getting a pretty good jump up. And there we go with a, with a single flip that I uh, came off of. At any rate, I just keep on trying this trick. It's something I used to be able to um, kick up over a parking curb pretty easily, and I probably still could uh, over a parking curb. 
What makes it harder on this manual pad is that it's got a 90 degree square corner coming right at you and you have to bump it right off perfectly. Uh, oh, <laughs> landed a, a single flip again. Uh, and then I almost bounced it. Okay, so here I am trying the same trick. Getting a little closer and getting that double flip. Oh, I did land a regular nose and fly there. And then came off of it. But this park was in the Houston, Texas area because I had to go to Houston for some training for my job there. We see another nook and pond that I landed in. Uh, and then I missed a single one. Now this, these are flipping in the kick flip direction. So this would be a no comply. Uh, a no comply. I guess a kick flip. Double flip. At least it's in the kick flip direction. Yeah. Uh, so there I landed the single and then slipped out. Uh, as you can probably hear, there's some. They were playing some good music. Oh, there we go. There I got a, a no comply and then fell off the other end of the menu. Uh, oh, I almost got a cancel. You know, I mean, a cancel kick flip there. A no. Cancel enough to like kick flip. There's another double flip. Almost got a single in there. Almost landed that single again. I'm all over it. All over that again. I think I could have just landed that. But uh, this trick is very difficult. There were some rippers really at this part too. Um, really good street skaters here. I didn't want to put any, any of their footage in. Oh, there goes some timing. But uh, there, I just got a, a good slide. And then I'm back to the drink. I just wanted to get one one board slide on there. And then go back and see if I could try to land this. It's, uh, it's difficult when that uh, 90 degree edge is right there on a, like I was saying before, before the video changed, the parking curb um, has a, you know, it's not tilted up as much towards you and allows the board to hit more gently and flip over more predictably. This you got to hit it right and it'll spin pretty quick, which is why I could. I'm close to being able to get a double flip on a lot of my other There's a no comply that I just landed accidentally, but I'll take it. Ooh, there's another one, and I wasn't able to hold on to it. Yep, I almost landed that one just a second ago. Oh, that would have been a perfect time one, too. But I didn't step on that one, too. That was almost a very old. Alright, and now we're to the third part. This is a California snow park, and I brought out my snow skate, which, as you can see, I'm not really that good at. This is my wife, though, and this is her first time on a snow skate. She's never been on a skateboard, and she's actually doing pretty good on the snow skate. I was actually surprised since I'm so experienced at skateboarding, and she has no experience on a skateboard. She's nearly as good as me on the snow skate. I mean, she can't throw down yet, but I actually do teach her a little bit later in this. So, I almost landed that shove it, even though I was stationary when I landed, landed it. Uh, the snow skate's harder to... There's my wife scooting on. So she's just getting used to it now, and there she's uh, practicing her power slides and spinning around. Oh, I did get a shove it, sort of, uh, even though my foot came off. And then we switched places to a little bit of an uh, uh, easier run. Uh, as far as snow skating goes, probably we're not in the best environment for it. It's probably better just in like a actual city environment on some concrete with, that has some snow on it, so you can just go flat. Um, Otherwise, you have to. We had to make a little run here for it to be able to see. Like, like it easily slips out on you when you have a good packed run. But you have to have a good packed run for it to for you to be able to go too. So that's a little bit of getting used to. Here's my wife getting more used to it. And then I was teaching her how to throw down, and that's what she's practicing now by just throwing it down and jumping on in front. So she's uh, actually doing 
pretty good. Throwing down something that uh, isn't something that comes natural to me personally because I never did that when I was skateboarding. Uh, I don't know why, but um, maybe because back in the day we didn't have much of a nose as far as skateboarding is concerned and that uh, maybe it was harder to throw down. But uh, at any rate, we never did it. I never did it. And so now we've switched over to uh, to a hill so we can drop in a little bit. And then here we're making the run, which is sort of digging in right there. That's the thing about snow skating is you got you to have a little bit of a packed run, but if it's too packed, then you don't grip any. So, um, yeah, so it's it's actually a lot of just preparing the spot that you're that you're snow skating at first. This is only my, I think, second or third time doing this. I think third. Um, so I'm not very experienced. It's a little bit different. You have to put your foot further back on the tail uh, to get it to ollie because there's no trucks, uh, no pivot, no truck pivot to pivot from. So it's just the tail, um, the curvature of the tail itself that you're that's causing you to get leverage. Now this side I came down the other side, which was a lot of fun actually, and a little bit of a better run. So I wanted to keep on doing it. Yeah, look, I got some speed there, but there was so much snow pulling up onto uh, my board that I wasn't able to really do anything with it there. But I'm having fun anyway. It would be fun to go find a skate park that had some snow in it and go mess around with that. Here's my wife coming down the, uh, the hill and uh, she was brave enough to do that, which it's not really that big a deal. but. Uh, so, um, I was really proud of her, um, and we had a lot of fun. We're going to have to go do this again. My kids were there too, but they didn't do any snow skating. There I got caught in the snow and fell down the hill, so luckily there were no rocks or trees in my way. And so now I'm just messing around trying to get the hang of it. Uh, what I'm wearing is some band snow skate shoes, which are really warm, but um, I probably would have got better footage and more footage here, but... I wore out a little bit early because when I first got there it looked like a little half pipe bowl that I could drop right into so I grabbed my snow skate and put it on the side and dropped right into it and it was just a powder hill and I just collapsed right down in through the snow getting snow right into my shoe which I should have tied differently and just, uh, I should have taken more caution not to get my feet wet to begin with so I done it. but here we are leaving and I'm uh, snowboarding down the hill back towards the parking lot, or snow skating rather, not snowboarding. And on my way here, I'm trying to get down. I know this might be fairly boring, but it's some footage that I, uh, that I had left over. Here's some kids that were sledding. They asked me if I had a YouTube uh, channel. I was like, yeah, and then they asked me what it was, and I told them. But no, usually people ask me that when I'm out. I don't know why they think I might have a YouTube channel. I guess just because I'm filming. But uh, then they ask me, and then I tell them that. But then I never see see them on the channel or anything. So I don't know if they ever look it up or not. But at any rate, hope you enjoyed this footage. I know it wasn't much. I will. I've got lots of good footage for you though. Um, and hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, it was just me doing. Uh, doing the thing I usually do at skate parks is just try to work on tricks that I already know how to do and just get a little better at, at them but I don't go for the tricks I really know how to do just the ones I barely know how to do so at any rate hope you enjoyed it uh, stay tuned I'll put up another video soon and I've got a lot of builds that I've made for the plan box that are pretty amazing that we'll get to eventually but I might highlight them before anyway Make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time, YouTube. Have a good one. Bye.